Hello, welcome back. Last time I did a few rooms here. Some of them were kind of baffling, some of them were pretty cool. Uh, looks like I just have just one left, maybe? This does have the level clear gate in it. Uh, yes, so this must be the only one left, because there were no side paths in this <laughs> inverse chasm. Uh, so the stalwart needs to see the roach. I need to become invisible, all right. This will be fast travel to the other side. Okay, just wanted to experience that. It's like that. All right, here's a way I can enter this room. So receive mimic by stepping there. Okay, so you'll die by, by being pushed into that pit, which looks a lot like the walls surrounding it, but that is a pit there. Uh, the way that will happen is by the staff mimic stepping there, depositing its staff, then me killing it. Oh, you could die by fire trap if that happens. So I wouldn't need the stalwart to do anything. Okay. So is this not just as simple as... There's a Roach Queen there for some reason. And I don't know why. Alright, so it looks like I need to find a way to boost myself using that Mimic. Which can definitely be done with... Um, can it definitely be done? It can probably be done. Um, the way to do that is, well, the way that I'm thinking of doing it will not involve Bethro going over this pressure plate is the problem that I think I have. So maybe if, yeah, something like that, but not that. Um, I can, let's, let's synchronize each other better. Let's face the same way. Maybe it's not what I ultimately want, but right now it is. Um, yeah, so if I just walk over here, the Roach Queen ends up in there and is now unreachable. Except by the Mimic, but the Mimic has to die here. So it can't just trap itself there. Weird. I guess that's for a return trip, if you want? Maybe? Um, okay, so how do I set up a situation where the Mimic is going to push me as I step on this plate? I don't. That's not a... wait, maybe I do. Um, let's switch sides for one thing. Like that, there we go. Now he's on the wrong side, that's okay. I have a pressure plate that opens the wrong thing. Also, that didn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, that just opens this, I don't care about that. Um... So it'd have to be Bethro stepping here, and then the Mimic somehow... Hang on, okay, so this door is going to close. There's a way to do this. So right, think about the Mimic taking its turn when that door is closed. That doesn't create a too wide wall, though. It's just tall. And getting vertical... Actually, could getting vertical distance help me at all? No. That does no good. What if I get more quickly to the shallow water? Well, I can't really, I mean... 
so one more and also it's in range of you okay so all right let's ignore the roach queen for now uh that's one problem to solve is there a reason i would do this well yeah is there a reason i wouldn't oh okay so it has to be the mimic who steps there okay makes sense Right, so this is something I don't want. I don't know why I read this as I want the roach to see the stalwart. Because there's no way to kill the roach from there. <laughs> I just sort of saw that like, okay, well that's in that row. That roach has to die somehow. Obviously it needs to move there. <laughs> no, it's a fire trap. Okay, I mean, so this part of this is simple. U to O, is it? It could be. Um, I need you split apart from me a little bit. Uh, would you just... there, that'll do. Okay, well... That'd be good if you faced this way. Okay, so that's how Beethro gets in here with a staff. Sure, what's this do? Doesn't help me with this problem. All right, so this is tricky. There's not... Okay, so... Was there some way... that I was... Oh, wait. Okay, here's what it is. You'll be loose, which is annoying. Why don't you hit a turn 30 first? Okay, so the... Still doesn't work. Because the only thing that opens that is this orb, and you won't be using it from there, huh? Whoa, stalwarts. That Roach Queen sees you. <laughs> this Roach Queen doesn't know what's going on. She's all confused. Um, can I get her to a different place here? Hang on, you oscillate for a bit. That should stop you from laying. It didn't. So if I stun once... Then that'll offset you, and then you still lay. All right. Um, boy, that's an annoying spacing. Uh, can I fix it? Well, maybe I can just, like, do this. Maybe you're a puzzle element that I don't want to just kill, but right now I just want to kill you. That's my desire. I can't have a mimic input a bump move like that. Okay, so how about... There. Okay, Roach Queen is dead. I think that's what I wanted because I don't see her being able to benefit me here at all. Can't have this see me, not that that would make a difference. Yeah, so now I'm just stuck on this side with nothing that can happen here anymore. Yeah, I can kill that, so what? Can't do much else. Now you get a sword and it goes away on Ormites. I can drop that, that's not what I want. Like, the only way I can currently see to kill this evil eye is by turning the sword into a staff, by having you step there, then killing you so you don't drop the trapdoor, then walking there manually. But if I've done that, then what's the use of that orb? Uh, okay, so... I still feel like there's some way to get an extra push off of this Mimic. 
so that Bethro gets shoved ahead here and the Roach Queen flees north. Like, why else would this little space be here? That's that's a catcher. So the question is, how would the Mimic do any such thing as that? Yeah, I can push south. But that's not the direction I care about. Sure, we're inside each other. Is that useful? Oh, maybe. It might be. Yeah, if we were inside each other in a slightly different position, then some stuff might be able to happen. Because that lets me spring like that. And like this. Oh, there we go. That was all. Okay, I sprung. There. I did it. Great. Alright. Uh, Mimic steps here. Mimic gets itself into that position. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, what? So force arrow, huh? Well, that remains a problem. I mean, yeah, not only the force arrow, but also the... Trapdoor. It's not like the Mimic can kill Beethrow. I mean, it can, but I don't want it to. So if the Mimic's the one with the sword... Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> this is another multi-push thing. All right, this is cool. Uh, now I have to do it to you. Okay. So if I put my stick in you... Uh, something, something... Um, no, how could I possibly multi-push? Like, I need you to skip over that token and land there while still having the staff. It can't be me, it has to be you. So, that means you'll have to push yourself? Is that a thing that can happen? Let's see, imagine if we were facing each other. Don't have to imagine, I can actually make it happen. This isn't right yet. No, okay, I think I'm... I, I, I kind of have a vision of something, it's just hard to... Hard to be sure. Um, so it has to be a westward step. Okay, yeah, so all I have to do... No, 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 no. Bethrow moves first. That's the problem. But wait, a stunned mimic perhaps does not actually activate a token? Maybe that's all there is to it. Nothing more than just, yeah, okay, a stunned mimic doesn't activate a token. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't as complicated as that. Yeah, no, I don't think I can... Since Bethrow moves first, I was thinking of one of these constructs like, you know, um... one of uh, these things. Beethro can push himself, sure, but the Mimic cannot um, 
use that to do what I wanted. So all it is is just that tokens aren't activated by stunned entities. Okay, great. Oh, I see. That's why that orb is like that, because I have to get out, because a watched level clear gate never drops. Okay. Okay. Cool. That was a nice room. I like that. Hey, a treasure chest with, man, this, like, incredible beam of red light coming out of the sky. You sure you want to touch this bee throw? It looks dangerous. Awesome. Looks like I found the red key. Oh, this is the red key? I would never have guessed. <laughs> red key acquired. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to step in this spot. I did it. <laughs> wow, I love the... That's so good. You usually don't see stuff like this. Okay, guess I'm done here. Cool. Beether returned from the chasm, by the way. Still don't know what unstored means. All right. So that was that part of the quest. One more key to get, I guess. Pether returned to Orm from the tower. Right, people show up here. I guess that key must be this way. Nodden, okay. That's a place. Made continental plains. The plains of Glorthorid are, for the most part, vast swaths of briar-covered but otherwise empty scrublands. It was a rather arduous trek. That's a weird way to spell that. For Bethro to get to the area which the contract giver had scrawled on his map. And when he arrived, it was warm and muggy, despite being late in the day. He wondered how a key had ended up being deposited out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> After the one you just got? But his smite master senses had tingled, and he knew that he would have some monsters to deal with. Okay. This is probably way back. Beetha returns from the plains. Alright. Okay. Briar level? So, uh, Hotlands, or whatever this is called. Um... I forget what this level style is called. What is this? It's not Hotlands. It's like Badlands? But no, that's not it either. Well, this is gonna bother me. <laughs> not gonna check, though. Okay, um, yes, Briars. Other spiky plants, too. Those won't actually hurt me, though. They grow too slowly. That's a staff token. So, clone in shallow water. So something's going to get rid of that, allowing you to take one turn to do this, then you have to immediately stealth again. Okay, are you on a uh, fire trap? Yes. Now that's a queen. If this goes away, then she can lay eggs there, and then she'll die there, and then he'll die there, and then this will kill this queen, I guess. Stepping here means this will grow, and one turn later I get locked out. Okay. But I also have to step here. What? Okay. Something's happening, so don't step here now. There wouldn't even be any reason to, because I don't have a pointy object in my hand. Can't pick up that cactus and stab her with it. <laughs> uh, oh! Puffs! Okay, cool. This is a staff, again, for some reason. Why? Sword here. That is a broken wall. Wait, force arrow going... Northeast. Boy, this is, uh, <laughs> some readability problems here. Okay, so I have to create ice here. All right, that shouldn't be a problem. And I have to deal with you, too. Puff on the plains. Seems like these didn't end up here by accident. Yeah, this is a hot place. That didn't open. Oh, I only get one. Okay. So what that means... Uh, okay, so I get a sword just to break this wall, then I get a staff again. So I'll step there. There will be a puff. I think that's for killing her? No. Maybe. Uh, 
Well, I can be stealth if I want. Uh, right, so vague plan is get this over here. Uh, and push the golem into it. And I guess in service of that, I can just skip the puff turn. Oh, but it still goes toward the roach queen, of course. So that doesn't work. Oh, I've just died. Oops. Um, guess I gotta pay attention. All right. Um. All right, so juggling some things. That was a weird, awkward way to do that, but it worked, I guess. Golem's too far away. Uh, no, he's fine. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, not quite. Okay. Nope. I can't step on this. That's deep water. My staff really needs to be this way, I think. Um, but I need to not die from that. Alright, you sit there for a minute. Actually, you sit... in a place that it's hard to get you into, here for a minute. Alright, um... So within... Alright, the maximum number of turns I can get here. You'll be in the second part of your stun and will not move. If I do that one earlier, then you do move. Okay, maximum turns I can get from this state is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Ooh, not many. So the idea of getting you into position there in time seems like a tough one. Oh, and you go through staffs. Of course you do. Am I trying to do the right thing? Get the golem to squish the puff there, because I only have one puff and one thing to squish it against. Killing this roach queen with this puff would not help anything. Does this have to be done? That'll get the other puff out. I don't know why I need it yet. That will allow you to lay an egg there, which is the only way you're going to die. So I do need to hit the orb. And hitting the orb means getting rid of this arrow, which means stepping there. Okay, so yeah, I think I do just need to figure out how to squish the puff in this location with you. I don't have a way to kill you, so you're going to be alive for this process. Oh, hey, I can move the puff further. Because I'm closer than the Roach Queen. There we go, that gives me more time. Okay, that's probably all I really needed. Not quite... And yeah, Puff will just walk right into a rat golem and die on it. Alright, so what about... Keep you there for a moment. You could get stuck there. That's probably an okay place. Yep, 
Yeah, there we go. That was all it took. Okay. Uh, just had to realize that I could hold it all the way over here. Okay, so now you're going to be on loose, but there are plenty of easy places to park you, so you're out of the way. Like, say, ah, here. So now I can do this. And stealth again. Okay, so that happens. I think I know what I want to... Oh. Okay, so for one thing... Alright, I can prevent egg laying indefinitely if I want to by doing that. This does nothing of any interest other than kill that queen. There must be a force arrow here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm pretty sure... Let me verify this real quick. Um, if I'm not mistaken, a puff will actually prevent roach eggs from being laid without killing the egg directly. Ouch. Uh, that needs to be timed a little bit differently. Yes, okay, so no egg was laid there. It moved into the closest worm thing, which was this egg here, and killed it. If my staff were also... a thing on that plate. Uh, if I'd like to do this a little quicker. Okay, so which turn do I want to be on when you're there? Not that one. This one? Okay, so let's think about what'll happen here. I believe what's going to happen is that... Okay, so move order. Roach Queen's number two. Gollum still has to die, by the way. The Roach Queen will lay an egg here and here. The pressure plate will be held down and will... Oh, the, the, the puff does need to be one more ahead, so don't push it there. Well... Um, yeah, okay, this is right. Okay, so at this point, only an egg will only be laid here, but it will still be on the plate for long enough to toggle this. However, that plate will clear in the same turn, so this won't actually open. So egg is laid, only here. Puff moves, killing the thing that was just laid on it. So plate goes down... Uh, plate goes back up. Ah, that's why this has a buffer of one. So the briars will grow because plates pop up after briars grow, but they'll only grow to here because there are three briar roots here. So I'll get briars here and here. I'll get a door closing on briars there, and everything should be good. There we go. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, that was so good. All right, Gollum still has to die. Uh, and I can't do it on there. You do. I do still need to keep that plate clear. All right. Wow, that was real nice. I liked it. Oh, there's the, uh, there's a key. I guess that's the green key. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, getting some good vibe vibes from this place. Uh, there's the nearest checkpoint in open space. There's always one near the entrance. All right, great. I'll uh, push forward into more of the planes next time. See you then.